Good morning, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17! So today is a very admin day for me, so Vlogmas today is going to be very simple. Number one, advents. Number two, we're going to build the gingerbread house, or we're going to attempt it anyway. And I'll just take you along for anything else I get up to today. I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on. So, nothing overly exciting apart from the gingerbread house. We'll see how that goes. But, tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to take a drive and look at some of the Christmas lights. So it should be a much more exciting Christmassy video tomorrow. Anyway, let's crack on. So, excuse my dog drinking in the background. But, we are going to crack on with trying to make this gingerbread house today. It was £7 from Wilco, and I believe... All the parts you need are inside, all you need to add is an egg, and luckily, just up there, is an egg. So, we need to prepare the mixture, you need to get the warm medium egg, separate the yolk from the egg, beat the egg whites. Okay, seems pretty straightforward, and then we just start building it, so let's give it a try. But first, we're going to grab all the parts out of the box. Let's do this one handed. So it's all in a nice little package in here. Oh no! The wall is broken! No! Oh no! No, 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 that's not good. Not good at all. We can try to salvage it, see what we can do. I'm gonna cheat. So now I have some stiff white peaks and we're gonna add the powdered sugar from the, the kit kit. So, the sugar right here, we're gonna grab that and add it to that. Alright, next thing you need to do is to the fighting bag. So next up, we're going to start building the gingerbread house. So I've got my icing to stick it all together with. So let's we'll see how this goes. I think it's going to be a little bit of a collapsed uh, gingerbread house looking at the parts. They're a little bit broken. Next up, I guess it's probably going to be the walls. So um, this looks like a wall. Okay, so we have a new piping bag, it'll do. I'm um, now just going to try to get all the uh, icing out of this piping bag and put it in here. Let's give this a try. Oops! Oopsies, that's the roof of the wall. One bit wide. Easy. Makes a 
bit more sense. Let's try and turn to the roof. So we actually have a gingerbread house that's standing, Sean. So we have a gingerbread house that is standing, which I am surprised about. I'm going to put a bit more cement on there because it might collapse. Um, and then we'll start decorating it. I'm not sure I've really got much icing to decorate it with, but that's fine. We'll see what we can do. Gingerbread house, it is standing just. A bit of a rubbishy roof, but. So, considering that I put the roof on the sides to start with, I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, and the fact that there were broken parts as well. I am pretty impressed that it's actually still standing. But, it's not really the best gingerbread house in the world, but it'll do. I built it, that's the main thing. Wasn't a complete waste of seven pound. Don't know what it tastes like, so I'll give it a taste in a bit. Once I've had to clear up because I've made quite a bit of mess down here. Anyway, now the gingerbread house is built, I'm going to clear up and I'll see you in a bit. So that is the gingerbread house done. Um, cost me seven quid from Wilco. And to be honest, I haven't tried it yet, but for the fun it took to make that, eh, it's probably worth the seven quid. Not sure I pay much more than that. But this is not a disaster. I was kind of expecting it to be a smush. Um, and that is not a piece of Cadbury's chocolate from the advent calendar. Um, that is, I was just expecting it to be a right mess. I was just like, I was surprised it even stuck here, especially when I stuck the roof on the sides. I did think that doesn't look right, and then realised and went, ah, that's why. Oh well, it's come together right now. Um, So we've just come back to the gingerbread house and I have changed it around slightly. I've Sean pointed out that um, the bits I'd put on the top looked like um, an inappropriate symbol, maybe we'll say, because this is a family friendly channel. Uh, and actually told me what these parts are for. There's a door and a chimney. Thanks, Sean. So, Barney, have you had your advent calendar the last couple of days? I don't think you have because I haven't been here. Let's see them. There it is, number 16. You haven't said 16 or 17. Sit down there. And Barney. Let's get out. Oh, there we go. And today's advent for Barney is. Where is it, Barney? A stocking. There we go. Yes, Barney. Isn't that nice. Today's the 17th, which is down here. So, pop that chocolate out as well. Should we see what we've got today? And today. It's a bell. Did you want this one as well? Nicely. Nicely, yes. Nicely. So nice. All gone. 
All gone. So, as I'm craving a bit of chocolate right now, we're going to crack on with the advents despite only being two o'clock. So, start off with the Thornton's one today. So, we're going to look for number 17, are we today? Are we 17? There we are. The bell's just here. And we see Barney trying to sniff out the food. Inside, we have an elf. And today is the pig, is it? I don't know what it is. I've absolutely no idea what it is. It looks like a pig or a bear or something, but it was chocolate. Next up, the baubles. So number 17. A silver metallic one. Pop that on the tree somewhere. There. As I nearly fall off the bed. That's better. Next up, the Lint Gold Bear. Number 17 is. There it is in the middle there. I reckon it's going to be a Lindor today. Oh no! We have a gold bear today. Uh, a gold bear! Since I'm craving it, I'm just going to eat it now. Now to the swizzles. So number 17. Oh, we've got a festive fact today. Did you know the largest ever Christmas cracker was 63.1 meters long and four meters in diameter? Now that is a big cracker. Anyway, time to see what sweet we've got inside today. Yes. It's a pink refresher. And last but not least, it's question time with the Cadbury's. Question 17 is, which reindeer is said to be the most famous of all? You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donna and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. That'll do you don't anymore. Anyway, 17. Where are we? Uh, so yeah, the answer is Rudolph. 17 is at the top here. And of course, it's Rudolph. And today, we have a boot. And you know what? It's a thick bit of chocolate. So, that's how it's done for today. Still want my fresh treat. I'll eat that in a second. Um, plan for the rest of the day. Not too much going on. Um, I'm going to crack on with some editing, some Florida vlogs, and I've also got a couple of other videos that are going to go up, hopefully between Christmas and New Year. Uh, I need to put a bit of uh, work into and try to get those at least started a good way through today. Um, yeah, that'd be about it for today, unfortunately. Um, not doing too much exciting stuff. Still got some Christmas cards right actually, so that will be done today. Because I do need to post them tomorrow. But apart from that, nice chilled afternoon hopefully. Anyway, now I've done. I'll see you in a bit. So it's just gone half past eight. I am here editing the vlog for tonight. Got most of it edited and just realised I hadn't actually ended the vlog today. So I haven't really filmed anything this afternoon at all. Uh, since the day of events. I'm not going to say I haven't been doing anything because it's not true. I've been cracking away some editing, getting some houseworky bits done, hoovering, things like that. Um, but I haven't really done much exciting stuff to show you. So, it's turning out it's going to be about a 15 minute vlog in the end. So, I was going to say I'm sorry for it being a short one, but it's not really a short vlogmas. Um, but that is it for Vlogmas Day 17. So, 
Thank you very much for watching. If you're not already following me on my social media, my Twitter is at NathanStaker1. My Instagram is at NathanStaker. And if you want to email me, it's nathan.staker at gmail.com. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I shall see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 18. And yeah, have a good evening, guys. Bye. No one cares about